Hi there, welcome back. This is part 5 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. If you'd like to check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the link below in the description. Alright, so in our previous video, we covered expect assertions in detail and got a good understanding on how to use them. In this video, we will learn about Chai.js and how to use them in our test. So Chai is a popular node assertion library and it can work with any JavaScript framework. So if you're thinking, bro, why do I need to learn another assertion library when I can just use WebDriver IO expect? Well, technically you don't need to learn it. We wrote our test just fine without using Chai.js. However, you might run into a scenario where you need some kind of assertion that WebDriver IO won't cover. That's when Chai.js will come and help as it's really customizable and you can build your own assertions. Also, it's not one or the other. You can use both of them together. There's no harm. They will live with each other perfectly. So let's take a look at Chai.js. So it comes with several interfaces. If you can see here, you can use either should, expect or assert. So these are just the assertion styles that you can use. And you don't need to worry about using all three. You can just choose to use one or the other, or you can combine them both. It's just the way you're most comfortable with writing your test. So to take example, let's say if you're using should, it would be, it's a, let's say your element dot should be a, any of whatever session you want there. For expect, this is similar to WebDriver I expect. So we will use just the way we were using it before, expect our element to be something. And same way we can use assert too. All right, so now let's take a look at what we need to start using Chai in our tests. So I'm gonna click on guide here and for the installation. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is install our Chai in our dependencies. So let's do that. So we're back in VS Code. Now we need to install our dependencies. So I'm gonna pull up the terminal. All right, so to install our dependency, we need to do npm install Chai. You can also do npm i chai, that would work, that's fine too. And hit enter. That's gonna install this. So once this is installed, we'll be back. Okay, so our dependencies are installed. Now we need to start using this in our test. So how do we do that? So we need to think of a use case where chai just would be better than using WebDriver I expect, or where WebDriver expect just won't work. So if you remember, here we created our test in our previous video where we were verifying, we were clicking on the shop button. Once we click on the button, it goes to the new URL and then we were verifying the URL. Now, if you think about it realistically, this URL might change because since this, if you remember, this was a promotional URL for the 4th of July holiday. And the, after 4th of July, this promotion might end and this URL just won't work for us. So we wanna build a test that will work almost all the time, unless there's a specific change made by a developer. So in order to do this, we need to think of a scenario just the way we were using this to have link containing is to use something called to have URL containing. But if you go to the WebDriver IO documentation, I'm here. If I go to their API, expect they don't have something that is to have URL containing. So this is the scenario where you would probably think about using some another assertion. The so now scenario we will be using chat. Okay, so let's head back now. So this is what we're gonna do. First, we will get the URL of the page and then we're gonna use our chai assertion to verify the URL. So to get the URL, that's easy to do. We can do shop browser dot get URL and then we'll assign it a variable. So we can call this a URL. Okay, so we have our URL now and we will be using chai assertions to verify our URL. So let's take a look at that. So we'll access the chai session document. So I'm in the session style documentation here. So we can use assert, expect, or should. Since we are already familiar with expect, let's take a look at that and try to implement it. So to do that, they are saying that we can use something like expect something to be a string or expect something to equal this. Okay, so we can click on this view full BDD API to take a look at their API docs. So the way chai session work is you can use these chain commands to add it in your test. So just increase the readability of your sessions. So to give you example, what we can do is, let's say if I expect something to equal your assertion, or same thing here, something to not equal the assertion value you're trying to put. So let's take a look at what we'll be using, which is include in our test. So what we will say is expect our URL to include the string we want. 
The same way we can do expect something to not include the string we want. So let's try to implement this and see if it works for us. Come back in VS Code, and what we'll do is create a session here. So we'll say expect, and then I'll say URL dot two dot include, and then we'll add our string. So in this scenario, we'll verify let's say fashion is available in this entire string. So what we're seeing is for our URL, just expect it to have this particular string. All right, now, if we run this test, do you think this will work? Just think about it. If you guess it, no, you're right. So here's the reason why it won't work. So we are running a test, which is first this one, it's running our regular web driver I expect, and then we are running this. So when the test will run, it will just consider this as a typical web driver I expect. It won't know that this is, we're trying to run a chai expect here. How can we let our test know that this is not a regular web driver I expect, but instead we want to use chai expect? Well, one, we can just change this to chai expect. And I'll save this here. And now when we'll run this, it will know that this is not a regular web driver I expect as we're using this something custom with that we just made chai expect. By the way, we can name this anything we want. We can even do c expect. That would work too. So obviously when we will run this now, this is just a variable that we just created. It will once again fail. It will say chai expect probably not defined. Now we need to tell our test that by chai expect, we mean to run the expect a session library from chai JS. So how do we do that? So the very first thing we need to do is import chai JS in our test. So we can do that by just going here and then let me open this up. So we can do something like import and we'll say expect from chai. So, so now we are importing our expect library from chai. So this is in the documentation. So let me pull that up. I am in chai here. Go to guide assertion style expect. Okay. So here they're using require, but if you just scroll down, okay, to use ES2015, which is the next generation JavaScript, you can use import this way. So they're giving example of should, but instead of using should, we are using expect. We'll also use should in a bit. Okay, so let's head back. Okay, so now we're importing our expect from chai.js. So that's great, but there's still a problem here because we're using expect keyword already for our web driver I expect. And if you remember here, we created a keyword which was chai expect. So we need to change this to use chai expect. Now we can't really just change it to chai expect as that won't really work. It's trying to pick up the expect library from the chai JS. So we need to create an alias. So to create alias in JavaScript, you can just do as chai expect. Now our test will work. So what we will, what we are basically doing is we're saying import the expect library and just name it chai expect. This is just like naming a variable. And now our chai expect would know that it's trying to run our chai session. Okay, I know that was a lot and probably a bit confusing, but we are almost there now to get our test working with chai js. Okay, let's try to run our test to see if it works. So I'll do npx wdio and run our configuration file. So it's gonna run both of our tests. Okay, so if you notice our product search test passed, but one of our spec file is failing. That's probably means our watches file is failing. So if I scroll up, okay, so here, this import statement is failing. So it's saying cannot use import outside a module. Oh boy, so what's this now? So basically what it's trying to say is that WebDriver IO is not recognizing this import keyword. And the reason for that is because import is next generation JavaScript keyword. It doesn't work with plain JavaScript. So now what we need to do is make sure our tests are compatible with next generation JavaScript. So there's a little bit of process we need to do for that. But let's take a look at that. So for our tests to work with JavaScript ES6 and above, we need to use something called Babel. So what Babel does is, is it compiles our test file into a JavaScript version that's compatible with our test. So let's take a look at that. So I'm in the WebDriver IO documentation here. And if you look at configuration and click on Babel setup, which is the second option here, you will see the instruction on how to install Babel. 
So to, to work with Babel, first thing you need to do is install the necessary dependencies. So let's do that. So these are all the dependencies we will need. So I'll head back to our VS code and scroll down and then just install the dependencies and hit enter. So once this is installed, we'll be back. So we are back. Our packages are installed now. What we need to do now is set up our configuration for Babel. So this is what we will need to set up our configuration file. So I'm going to just going to copy this and then head back to VS code and create a file. Name it babel.config.js. Okay. And here just paste that code that we just copied. Okay. So I saved the file. So there's just one more step left. Let's take a look at that. So since we're using Mocha for our test, we need to register this Babel in our Mocha configuration. So I'm going to copy this entire line here and then head back to our configuration file. So I'm going to click on this here. Okay. So I'm in that configuration file here. What we will do is search for Mocha ops. Okay. So over here, we're just going to paste our line that we copied. So I'll just go back and then copy the line to make sure copied it. Okay. And then I'm going to paste it here. And now we don't really need this common JS. So we'll remove that. And that's it. So let's try to run a test here to see if it works. Okay. So there you go. Both of our tests ran. Spec files to passing. Awesome. And all our tests are passing here. So that's all we need to do to set up Babel as well as set up ChaiJS in our test. So to quickly recap, we looked at what Chai Assertion is and why we need to use it in our test. Then we went ahead and set up ChaiJS by installing our Chai dependency and importing it in our test. But then we saw our test was failing because of the import statement we were using. For that, we had to install Babel and do some configuration for it to make our test working with next generation JavaScript. So hope that wasn't too confusing. Put your comments below and let me know if you had trouble installing Chai or Babel. In the next video, we will write some more Chai assertions and get a good understanding on how to use them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next one.